What is it about birds that make them so, so amazing, so majestic? Is it their shape, their aerodynamic structure, their ability to fly, their feathers? It could be any of those. Well, hold on. Somebody just had to interrupt me while I'm recording, am I right? Oh, hi, Dan. How is the project going? Get this. After I'm done with this, you won't even ever have to, like, ask another question about birds. Here, here, here. I'll play you the PowerPoint now. I mean, it is pretty amazing if I do say so myself. Anyway, bird PowerPoint. Do bird? What is bird? Bird? Bird. You're not bird. Bird. Fucking you. So what'd you think? Oh, the... <laughs> it's funny, Dan. This isn't the project about birds. This is a project about history. We're talking about Charles Evans Hughes, huh? You know what? I'm assuming my bird project is just too progressive for you. It is I, the ghost of Charles Evans Hughes. You could say that I was a progressive, and you wouldn't be lying because I was. In fact, I was a very important progressive. So, let me talk a bit about myself because you're apparently doing your project on me. And you wouldn't want to look like an idiot now, would you? Now, here's some things that I did. My many, one of my many accomplishments was being the governor of New York for three years between 1907 and 1910. And then after that, I was the Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States between 1910 and 1916, after which I ran for president and lost to Woodrow Wilson. But it was pretty close, I'm not gonna lie, it was very close. Huh? So let me readjust my ghostly robes here. It was a very close match. Yeah. Carry on, carry on. After that, I became the Secretary of State between 1921 and 1925, which was an... It was a good gig, it was a good gig. You could say I made an important decision that countries should resolve their problems with Diplomacy, not beating each other over the head with a stick. After that, I became a Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, in which I A. Opposed the New Deal, and B. Opposed the New Deal. Also, some people say that I kept the Republican Party together during the... Uh, during my candidacy. Excuse me for stuttering. Anyway, carry on, carry on. Yes, I was a Chief Justice between 1930 and 1941, and that's me. Now let me tell you a little more about what I did. I was working on helping people get jobs. I fought anything unconstitutional. I'm credited for making the Supreme Court as important as the legislative and ex executive branches of the government. I'd say that's pretty important, is it not? Is it not? Is it not? And I also opposed the New Deal. Now you're probably asking, what was the New Deal? Well, let me tell you what the New Deal was. The New Deal was a very big thing that was come up with, that uh, was invented, or an idea, or a some sort of constitutional thing created by Franklin D. Roosevelt. FDR you could say, and I didn't really like it. I tended to oppose it in the court, but let's go into that, the uh, finer details a little bit. Now, the New Deal had four major goals. It was meant to cause economic recovery after the Great Crash, the Great Stark, Stock Market Crash of 1929, 
It's meant to create jobs because, you know, everybody was out of the job or extremely poor because money was worth so little in the time. It was meant to cause some civic uplift, you know, improve everything for people. It was meant to just make the city, town, state nicer, a nicer place to be. And it was supposed to cause, bring about some investment in public works. The New Deal built hundreds of thousands of highways, bridges, hospitals, schools, theaters, libraries, city halls, homes, post offices, airports, and parks all across America. I'd say that was pretty important. Anyway, then why didn't I like it? Because I didn't think a lot of it was constitutional. I didn't like some of the policies. And you know, you can say I'm like a guy nowadays. Then Ron Paul. Now, who was Ron Paul? Well, you know, Ron Paul is just some little guy who just recently ran for president in more recent days. But let's talk a little bit about him. He was an important guy. Man to be at least know the name of, and he was <clears throat> he was a physician, author, and former politician who served as a representative for Texas during the 14th and 22nd Const congressional districts. On three occasions, he sought presidency in the United States, and he is a critic of the government's fiscal policies, especially the existence of the Federal Reserve the tax policy, the military-industrial complex, and the war on drugs. I'd say that's important to know, at least. And, you see, he and I have some similarities. We're similar people. We're comparable, but we have one thing's for sure. He never had a mustache or beard as rad as mine was. Don't lie. They're pretty rad. Well, thanks, Ghost of Mr. Hughes. Now I can do my video.